this here is another viewer's very dirty gaming PC. And normally this would fall under the PCDC category videos, but we're making an exception for this one because, well, by the end of this video, this rig won't look anything like it does now. They just don't make cases the way they used to. Look at that. That's how you remove the side panel. You have these latches to undo in this older Corsair case. And check it out. Um, yeah, definitely messy. A lot of dust everywhere. Uh, a lot of things that look like are growing in here, especially up top in the radiator assembly. I'm not too excited about that. Uh, we will be salvaging a lot the, the, the primary components, I should say, the platform, the graphics card, but pretty much everything else will be replaced entirely. So the case, the power supply, the cooler, uh, that stuff will be... Uh, will be very different by the end of this one. We're gonna deep clean the card, we're gonna deep clean the motherboard, we're gonna take the CPU out, repaste, uh, we're gonna clean the RAM, and probably the drives, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's got a couple drives there, it looks like are completely covered in dust. So, uh, we've got a pretty big task on our hands. But I do hope you stick around till the end of this video, because not only will this rig look so different from what it does now, uh, we're also gonna try to get a live reaction from the viewer, and those are always fun. I think just the icing on the cake, the, the mmm, the creme de la creme after doing all the work, right? Seeing the reaction from the from the owner and just knowing that it was all worth it in the end. This owner drove four and a half hours or five hours, depending on traffic, to get here one way, a one way five hour trip. So he, he had to turn around and drive another five hours back. He literally spent 10 hours out of a single day to drop this system off and he's gonna do it all over again to pick it back up. So it's one of the reasons why I wanna transform this totally for him. And uh, he was just so willing to drive up and meet me that uh, I really wanna surprise him. So again, stick around to the end. I think you will enjoy it. For now, stay tuned. We're gonna get started right after this. Black Friday is traditionally the ideal time to find ideal prices on your favorite hardware. And AliExpress is making sure of that with deals on tech like the OnePlus 10 Pro, which packs a speedy Snapdragon processor and ultra fluid 120 Hertz AMOLED display. I opted for the Emerald Forest variant, which I think looks spectacular, especially in the sun. The second generation Hasselblad camera setup is dis distinctly OnePlus with its array of 48 and 50 megapixel primary and ultra wide sensors, along with an eight megapixel telephoto for all the zooms. The 10 Pro also has excellent battery life in my experience, something you don't find in many Android phones today, at least compared to the competition. So why pay more for something like this? AliExpress's Black Friday Super Deal sale is going on now, where you can find excellent discounts running for only a limited time and in limited product quantities. Wait an extra day and the tech you've been eyeing may just be gone. So jump on it, while you still can. Visit AliExpress via the sponsor link below and shop their sweetest deals between November 21st and November 30th, and use our exclusive promo codes to save even more up to $25 off. This is a chance to save up to 90% during Black Friday, and products are first come first serve, including this here OnePlus 10 Pro. So again, be sure to click the link below to get shopping today. Now, before we get started, I want to mention that I already tested this rig off camera, made sure that it posted and loaded into Windows, so no problems there. We'll look for that again when we reassemble things. Also, we're about to be hit by a hurricane again. Welcome to Florida. So I, I'm not gonna be able to take this stuff outside to clean it. Not to worry though, we're not gonna be deep cleaning the case or the cooler anyway. Eventually I will at some point before I give it away or donate it, something. We'll do something with this but um, we're just gonna be deep cleaning the smaller, more core uh, components indoors, so I'm not too worried about that. The case and the power supply and the cooler that we'll be throwing in here are all sent by Be Quiet, and that's who we've partnered with as our uh, product sponsor for this video. So it's gonna look uh, very Be Quiet-ish at the end of this one, but I love their hardware. I use their Be Quiet uh, Pure, uh, Purebase 500DX right now. I think we have the 500FX, actually, which um, is a, a in my opinion, an even better version of that case to replace this one with. And uh, I think it's gonna look really cool with some modern hardware. But okay, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to the deep cleaning, starting in three, two, one.
All right then, it is now day two. It's howling outside again, uh, pretty much the peak of the hurricane, which is now at this point a tropical storm outside. So you're gonna hear things hitting the windows and whatnot. Welcome again to Florida. Uh, for now, everything has been deep clean that we're going to recycle. You'll notice that I actually did bother cleaning the radiator assembly. And the reason why I did this is because we're only gonna be able to mount this thing up front in our 500 FX case. And the pump in this case is obviously in the block, which I think is gonna be a bit better uh, long term. We will, however, be swapping out the fans for this unit. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and introduce all of the new components from Be Quiet that we'll be throwing into this build. Let's go ahead and start with the fan Fans then, the ones we're gonna be throwing over the radiator are Silent Wings Pro 4s. This is a 140 millimeter unit. We've got another one obviously going there as well. Uh, and these are PWM control. They look freaking fantastic. I mean, just the ultra black aesthetic, very sleek looking. And of course, they're gonna run ultra, ultra quiet. I use Silent Wing Pro 4s in my personal rig and these are pretty much my go-tos. Just all around fantastic unit. One of the other things we're gonna be upgrading is this power supply. Now you might be thinking, okay, wattage wise, this isn't really much of an upgrade. His unit is quite old though. I think it is a 750 watt unit uh, from a competing brand, but uh, this one is of course brand new. It's fully modular, it's more compact, it's 80 plus gold certified, and it comes with a peace of mind, very long warranty. The FM in the Pure Power 11 name, by the way, stands for fully modular, which means we only have to connect the cables that we're actually going to use, which should save space behind our motherboard tray. Speaking of, the cherry on top here is of course the PureBase 500 FX. This again is just a, another iteration of the PureBase 500 lineup. I use the DX personally. It has the perfect amount of space, I think, for a mid-tower build. This one has, still has a perforated front panel. You're gonna get really nice integrated RGB here, premium fans included, and uh, yeah, just an overall really clean build aesthetic, uh, very solid construction. Don't wanna forget our rear IO shield. I'll try not to cut myself. Oh, there we go. I just triggered demonetization. Golly, I really should have thought that one through. Jeremy, maybe do me a favor and not include that. Easy does it, wiggle it on in. Something like that right there. Oh yeah, already looking clean. Don't mind me, just relocating a few fans. Now my only issue with this, the way that they did, they made this AIO, I just, I'm not a fan of how rigid the tubes are and how they just jut straight out from the block. Because what that means is we have really no flex up here and these tubes are scraping against this top fan. I really wanted to have both of these fans in here and uh, right now I'm not, um, I'm not super enthusiastic about having to remove one of those to make this fit. I don't wanna downgrade them to an air cooler. I mean, <clears throat> depending on who you ask, it might be an upgrade, but I feel like that would be the, I don't know. I can't flip the, I can't flip the radiator upside down because then the, the, the tubes look all wonky and they block the card. Um, I can't mount it up top, just not enough clearance up there. So, oh man, what am I gonna do? A few moments later. So I've done a quick test fit with a Pure Loop uh, 2FX, which is again, the same form factor as his previous AIO, so we shouldn't see a, a cooling performance loss at all there. They're both 280 mil rads. Uh, and the only difference really is that the pump in this case is in the tubes, which is why I wanted to run barb side down. Uh, I got it to fit, I think, pretty nicely. I've just got the card in there briefly for a test fit. We'll install that last, but I think it looks fine. There's no real interference here. This, the, the tubes aren't like sagging the card or anything like that. There's very little pressure on it. So uh, I like this. I think it's pretty clean. It's, it's a little different. It's kind of weird having the tubes wrap around that way. But uh, I think overall, once we get everything else in here, cables lined up, it's gonna look pretty darn clean. And now for the panels. Let's see how easily we can get this uh, right side panel on. So, not too bad. I gotta give it a bit of force up front just because of the bulk of cables. But that's it, there we go. Tighten this down. Front panel's on, easy as that. And the left side panel, I'm just gonna mock this one because, uh, well, for one, I've still got the plastic peel over the uh, cover and I don't wanna pull this off because, well, this is his job. It's his rig, I want him to do the honor, so to speak. But uh, I love the clear tempered glass. You can see straight through all the goodies inside. Now that everything's clean again, you do want to see what's in here. It's time for the moment of truth. Will she post? She should post. Did everything correctly. This isn't like it's our first rodeo or anything. Okay, it all turns on. Oh, I love the color sync already. All right, and there we are, loaded into Windows. So our job is pretty much done. Well, actually I was gonna say, our job's pretty much done, but it's not. 
because I promised you one more thing to end this video with, and that is a live viewer reaction. So uh, it's gonna be filmed with my phone, I apologize, but uh, at least you guys will get a nice dose of, uh, yeah, just his feelings toward the revamped rig. Uh, the only thing I'm not, you know, I'm not super, super happy about the way that these uh, tubes look, but I think all in all, it's a much, much cleaner rig uh, and much more modern looking as well. So big thanks to our product sponsors and uh, our pre-roll sponsors for allowing us to continue doing these things, uh, giving free upgrades, swapping parts out like we do in our fixer flop playlist. We're able to do all of that for free because of their support and yours for just watching. I mean, that is what ultimately drives the sponsors in. So your viewership is super important. And I wanna thank you for that, especially for watching this far into this one because it helps with the, uh, the YouTube algorithm a bit. So uh, the rig looks so, so good. I'm really happy the way, uh, the way that it turned out overall. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the reaction. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one officially though. Just stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching again and thanks for learning with me. All right, I'm here to uh, meet him. He just pulled up again, drove all the way from Key West. Let's see what he thinks. Yo, <laughs> I told him I was gonna film. He's okay with it. How you doing? How's it going, man? Thanks for driving out again. Yeah, no problem. All right, so I didn't send you a photo in the in the text messages because oh I wanted you to see it in person. Gosh. So uh, don't worry about those extra cables in there. That's just uh, the extra yeah. ones from the modular power supply. Okay. So uh, you've got a, a newer 280 mil AIO. Uh, you've got a new case. You've got a new power supply, and uh, it's looking clean. A couple new fans in there as well. So. Yeah, what do you think looking, compared to how it looked when it came in? Oh yeah, it was a dumpster <laughs> fire when I brought it in, but it's looking <laughs> a dumpster beautiful. Fire. <laughs> like I got some, the uh, I had to put it in such a nice car, man. I'm uh, sorry about that. No, 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 you're good, man. I uh, I left the peel on here for you, so you oh, could do so the you could do the peel yourself. Yeah, just waiting for that. Yeah, just remember to take the cables out when you power it up. But okay. uh, everything else was was deep clean. Your motherboard, your whole platform, your graphics card, and whatnot. Awesome. So all that still should be good to go. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to the video. <laughs> yeah, man, it'll come out soon. Uh, what do you think about the uh, What do you think about the drive? Is that uh... Yeah, so I live about five six hours away, so Woo! you know it was pretty rough. Uh, you know, uh, bunch of traffic made it uh, extra long. Uh, this time it was a little bit shorter, and the nights make it a lot easier. So nice, nice. Well, I don't know if this really made up for the really long oh, no, drive no, or no, not, no. but uh, I do appreciate you driving out here yeah, and, and course, being a man. candidate for it, allowing me to make a video on it. So, yeah. so thanks again, and uh, yeah, alrighty, we will uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks.